Hey there tech enthusiasts welcome back to another episode of Next in Tech I'm your host Varshit and today we have got some breaking news that has sent shock waves across the globe So sit tight and let's dive right in A Microsoft outage that has struck a users nationwide limiting access across the country so While well, the CrowdStrike update is the root cause of the outages that took out Microsoft systems that were running the so program confirmation Join about the origins of the IT outage What we'll talk about now is the largest IT outage in history. What started as a lovely Friday with a weekend around turned into a nightmare for many. Over 1400 flights were grounded, bank services went down and the stock exchange came to a screeching halt. The outage even disrupted emergency services like 911 in the US. outages in the 911 uh, emergency services number uh, in in uh, places like Ohio. It's like the world went back 20 years in time within an hour. Travelers were issued manually written boarding passes and airports reverted to manual check-ins with large queues reported at various international airports. It sounds like a scene from a sci-fi movie, right? Well, that's exactly what happened on 19th of July 2024. A massive Microsoft outage affecting devices running on Windows OS wreaked havoc. You might be wondering what caused this colossal disruption since everyone is calling it a Microsoft outage. Did Microsoft engineers actually make a mistake? Let's dig deeper. The actual truth is even more surprising. The culprit behind this chaos was an update released by the security firm CrowdStrike for their Falcon security system. Unfortunately, the update went wrong, causing the infamous blue screen of death on Microsoft Windows. For those who don't know, CrowdStrike is a leading cybersecurity firm known for its advanced threat intelligence and response capabilities. They sort of play a critical role in protecting many organizations from cyber threats. The company's customers include 298 Fortune 500 companies, 8 out of the top 10 financial services firms, 7 of the top 10 manufacturers, 6 of the top 10 healthcare providers and 8 out of the top 10 food companies. CrowdStrike's anti-cyber attack software is integrated directly into the Windows operating system designed by Microsoft. This means that a wide variety of devices across the globe use the software. But it has been proved once again that even the best can sometimes falter. As a result of this mishap, CrowdStrike's shares took a significant hit, tanking nearly 20%. It's a tough reminder on how interconnected our digital world is and how one error can ripple through various sectors. Microsoft quickly sprang into action to fix the underlying issue, restoring most of its services. However, Some disruptions are still felt as the company works tirelessly to bring everything back to normal. While this wasn't a cyber attack, it gives us a glimpse of the potential damage such an incident can cause. Imagine the impact of coordinated cyber attack of this magnitude. According to the World Economic Forum, cyber covid is one of the biggest threats of this century. Now, what is cyber covid? It's a global cyber pandemic. According to the World Economic Forum, we should prepare for a global cyber pandemic. This pandemic will spread faster than a biological virus like the coronavirus and create equal or greater damage to economies. Read, this is not about a virus that spreads to humans. It's about cyber security. In this case, a virus means a program designed to cause harm to devices like computers, smartphones, tablets, etc. How fast can it spread? The reproductive rate R0 of COVID-19 is between 2 and 3. meaning every infected person passes the virus to two or three more people the estimated r0 for cyber attacks is 27 and above this means one infected device passes the virus to 27 more devices for example in 2003 the world saw one of the fastest worms in history slama worm also known as sql slama or safaya it doubled the number of infections every 8.5 seconds In 10 minutes it spread to over 75000 devices in 24 hours it infected over 1 crore devices if the cyber covid behaves like coronavirus 30% of the infected systems would be asymptomatic 50% would continue functioning with performance severely degraded 15% would see total data loss 5% of devices would become unusable The only way to stop the exponential spread would be to disconnect devices from one another and the internet to avoid infection. The result, millions of devices would be taken offline in a few days. But if this happens, it creates massive damage to the global economy. We need to stay vigilant and prepared. This incident underscores the importance of robust cybersecurity measures and constant vigilance in our increasingly digital world. Hope now you understand what led to this outage. Share this video with your friends and boast about your knowledge. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel for latest tech content see you in the next video this is varshit signing off bye